Hi students, so we were doing the solutions for NIACL. Uh, so I will be doing the same for today as well. You have already in the uh, quantity aptitude and reasoning ability ka section ka solution. You have We will be doing the solution for uh, English language section today. So let us move to the questions directly. We have we have question number one so this is a passes so let us go through the passes so we have uh, read the following passes carefully and answer the questions given below in certain words are given in bold to help you locate them when answering some of these questions once upon a time there was a boy whose name was jack and he lived with his mother on a common uh, they were very poor and the old man got a living by, sp by spinning. But Jack was so lazy that he would do nothing but bask in the sun in the hot weather and sit by the corner of the herd in the winter time. So they called him Lazy Jack. His mother could not get him to do anything for her and at last told him one Monday that if he did not begin to work for his porridge, uh, she would turn him out to get his living as she he could. Next, this roused Jack and he went out and hired himself for the next day to a neighboring farmer for a penny. But as he was coming home, never having had any money before, he lost it in passing over a brook. You stupid boy, said his mother, you should have put it in your pocket. Uh, so he replied, I will do so another time, replied Jack. Next, well, the next day, Jack went out again and hired himself to a cowkeeper who gave him a jar, who gave him a jar of milk for his day's work. Jack took the jar and put it into the large pocket of his jacket, spilling it all long before he got home. Dear me, said the old woman, you should have carried it on your head. Uh, I will do so another time, said Jack. So on the following day, Jack hired himself again to a farmer who agreed to give him a cream cheese for his services. In the evening, Jack took the cheese and went home with it on his head. By the time he got home, the cheese was all spoiled, part of it being lost and part matted with his hair. You stupid lout, said his mother. You should have carried it very carefully in your hands. I will do so another time, replied Jack. Now the next day, Lazy Jack again went out and hired himself to a baker who would give him nothing for his work but a large strong cat. Jack took the cat and began carrying it very carefully in his hand, but in a short time, Pussy scratched him so much that he was compelled to let it go. When he got home, his mother said to him, You silly fellow should have tied it with a string and dragged it along after you. I will do so another time. Said Jack. So on the following day, Jack hired himself to a butcher who rewarded him by the handsome present of a shoulder of mutton. Jack took the mutton, tied it with a string, and trailed it along after him in the dark, so that by the time he had got home, the meat was completely spoiled. His mother was this time quite out of patience with him, for the next day was Sunday, and she was obliged to do with cabbage for dinner. You, uh, you need a hammer, uh, said she to her son. You should have carried it on your solo. I will do so another time, replied Jack. Well, on the mother, uh, Monday, Jack went once more and hired himself to a cattle keeper who gave him a donkey for his trouble. Now, though Jack was strong, he found it hard to hoist the donkey on his shoulders, but at last he did it and began walking home slowly with his prize. Now it so happened that in the course of his journey, he pa passed a house where a rich man lived with his only daughter, a beautiful girl who was deaf and dumb, and she had never loved in her life, and doctors said she would never speak till somebody made her love. So the father had given out that any man who ma made her love would receive her hand in marriage. Now this young lady happened to be looking out of the window when Jack was passing by with the donkey on his shoulders and the poor beast with his legs uh, with his legs sticking up in the air was kicking violently and he hawing with all its might. Well the sight was so comical that she burst out with a, a great fit of into a great fit of laughter and immediately recovered her speech and hearing. Her father was overjoyed and fulfilled his promise by marrying her to Lady Jack, who was thus made a rich gentleman. So yeah, we have already read the story, right? 
this is a very like uh, we have already heard about this story we have even uh, we have even gone through this story in one of our paper uh, it was a little different there are some added points over here but uh, it more or less similar it's very easy nothing very difficult as you know the comprehensions and clerks are very easy and i suggest you should attempt the comprehension for clerk but why you should not attempt the comprehensions for po okay so let us continue we have why jack was repeated uh, repeatedly asked to go to work for his mother by his mother तो बिकॉज जैक वॉज टू लेज टू डू एनी वर्क एट होम नो ये भी नहीं था बिकॉज उनको ऐसा था कि उसके जो लिविंग है उसके जो पौड़ीज है वो खुद कमाए ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव पिक्स बिकॉज अ मदर वन दिस सन टू लर्न न्यू वर्क एवरी डे नो ये नहीं था बिकॉज सी वॉज टू ओल्ड टू अर्न लिविंग फॉर हार होम ये भी नहीं था बिकॉज सी वॉज अर्निंग बट सी ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड कि ही ऑल्सो अर्न एज वेल नेक्स्ट बिकॉज सी कूड नॉट गेट एनी वर्क फॉर हर सन नहीं तो वी हैव ऑप्शन नंबर ई बिकॉज दे वे पुअर एंड सी वॉन्टेड हर लीज इज सन टू कंट्रीब्यूट टू डे लिविंग या डेफिनेटली ये है नेक्स्ट हाउ वट दिट जैक अर्न आफ्टर हायरिंग हिमसेल्फ टू ए बेकर तो बेकर को हायर करने के बाद ही अर्न ही वॉज अवर्डेड ए लार्ज टॉम केट राइट तो ये ऑप्शन नंबर बी होगा नेट वाई अकॉर्डिंग टू द फेसिस हिज मॉटर हैड टू कुक कैब विच फॉर दिन बिकॉज देर वॉज नथिंग एल्स टू कुक नहीं ऐसा नहीं था राइट नेक्स्ट बिकॉज सी वॉन्टेड टू टीच ए सन ए लेसन फॉर हिज कंटिन्यूस स्टूपिडिटी ये भी नहीं था बिकॉज ही वॉज वेरी अनॉयड बाई हर सन्स बिहेवियर ये भी नहीं था राइट बिकॉज मीर वॉज कम्प्लीटली मर्ड बाई हर सन यही था क्योंकि सी वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग कि वो मीर बनाएगी बट वेन बिकॉज द मीर वॉज कम्प्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉय बाई हर सन सो सी कूड नॉट मेक द मीर बट सी हैड टू कुक कैबेज फॉर द डिनर नेक्स्ट वाई द रिच मैन मैरिड हिज डॉटर टू लेज जैक बिकॉज ही प्रोमिस टू मेरी हर डॉटर मेरी हिज होना चाहिए था यहाँ पे मैरी हिज डॉटर टू द मैन हुड मेक हर लव तो यही आपके करेक्ट ऑप्शन है क्लियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट डिड ओके लेट अस मूव टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर 75 व्हाई डिड जैक कैरी द डंकी ऑन हिज शोल्डर उसने क्यों कैरी किया था ही वांटेड टू एम्प्रेस द नहीं ये नहीं था राइट हिज मदर आस्क्ड हिम टू डू सो हां ये ऑब्वियसली था लेकिन लेट अस आल्सो बाकी उसके मादर ने बोला तो नहीं था लेकिन उसके एक्ट नहीं बोला था ओके इट्स ही वाज फुलिस एज ही डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू कैरी डन के नहीं ही इज फॉलोड विथ हिज व्हाट इज मदर एडवाइज हिम आफ्टर हिज लॉस टू पीड एक्ट तो यही होगा राइट द डोंकी वाज रिजिड एंड लेट नो ये नहीं होगा ओके नेक्स्ट what is the ultimate fate of lazy jack he finally came out of his stupidity no he was no more a lazy boy no he got married to a rich girl and became a rich gentleman right so yeah this would be your option option number c next uh, let us see we have choose the word most similar in meaning to the word hurt hurt ka matlab kya hota hai in front of a fireplace of fire area hai aapke fireplace se samne that is known as hurt so let us see roof have an want condo and fireplace so your option would be fireplace clear next choose the word most similar in meaning to the word he haw as used in the passage he haw ka matlab kya hai jo cries of a donkey hai that is known as he haw right ya fir sounds of a donkey to ye aapke cackle jaisa hi hai similar word hoga cackle okay next choose the word most opposite in meaning to the word rouse rouse ka matlab dekhi rouse him तो इसका मतलब वो गया था काम करने के लिए या उसको एक्साइट किया था तो जो एक्साइट ना करे तो यहाँ से मोबिलाइज डिस्टर्ब कनकास लाल एंड एजिटेड उसमें से लाल आपका करेक्ट फॉर्मेशन होगा ठीक है एंटनी करेक्ट एंटनी नेक्स्ट चूज द वर्ल्ड वर्ड मोस्ट अपोजिट इन मीनिंग टू द वर्ल्ड मैटेड मैटेड विद हिस्स हेयर बोला गया था मतलब खराब हो गया था राइट बहुत ज्यादा टेंगल हो गया था फिर आपका आंसर है किंग की अनकम्ड अनसेटल्ड स्नर्ल एंड अनटेंगल तो आपका होगा अनटेंगल क्योंकि आपको पूछा जा रहा है एंटनी तो यहाँ पे आपका जो मेटल है उसका एक फॉर्मनी है आपके टेंगल सो so, आपका जो अनटेंगल है वही आपके करेक्ट एंटनी होगा क्लियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे मूव ऑन करते हैं वे क्वेश्चन नंबर एट्टी वन से लेके नाइन्टी to reach each sentence to find out whether there is any grammatical error or idiomatic error in it the error if any will be in what part of the sentence the number of that part is the answer if there is no error the answer is e so we have we got everything ready for all of them long before they arrived अब देखिए बिफोर दे अराइव बिफोर से पहले क्या होना चाहिए था पास परफेक्ट तो वी हैव गॉट 
we have got everything ready for all of them long before they arrive. Got the error kaha hai? Option number A mein hai. Clear? Next, the thief was caught after he has disposed of the stolen goods. Uh, goods. Ab dekhi, caught hai yaha pe, to yaha after he had hoona chahi, right? Where we had nahi had hoona chahi, thik? after he had disposed of the stolen goods, okay? Next, Delhi's water supply, so option number B, Delhi's water supply system is certainly as good as is expected in a capital town. So, here is no error here, so your answer will be no error. Next, he says that a two miles walk, now look, when you have a adjective of number, or numeral of number, we don't write plural here, we write two miles walk, two miles walk, okay? Next, what is the name of 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 the name? Two mile work always keeps him healthy and fresh. So, ये two mile हो जाएगा, ठीक है? Next, Simi took me to a hotel and ordered for two cups of coffee, which the waiter bought in no time. हम देखिए order के बाद हमेशा हम हमें for लगाने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है. Order का मतलब ही होता है कि for, okay? Order two cups of coffee होना चाहिए था. तो आपका answer होगा option number B में error है. Next, the first European to a sailor to come to India. The first European sailor to come to India uh, in modern times was Vasco da Gama. So, here is no error, so you will write no error. Okay, next. When he was under house arrest, he was divert to send a letter. And after divert, we always say preposition form. So, you will say divert form sending a letter. Okay? The word from sending a letter to send nahi hoga, in fact hoga from sending. To aapke error jo hai option number C mein hai. Okay. Next. In spite of his insincerity, he was our date send person. Ab we do not say send person, you have to say hundred person. Okay. It's wrong. Uh, yeah. Ab bohat log bolte hai isko, lekin this is very wrong. You have to say hundred person. Okay. Hundred person marks in mathematics. So error is in C. Next, much to his fortune, he married a girl who was more tall and lovelier than her elder sister. Now, look, more tall is not or is not. Comparative means tall is taller. So, here we have to be taller. So, what is your option? Option number C. Okay, next. She prefers intellectual to manual occupations and is not so fond for. For is not fond of. Okay. Fond of fancy work as many of the blind children are, yet she is eager to join them in whatever they are doing. Clear? Next question to chalte hai. We have question number 91 se 100. This is a close test. So in the following passage, some of the words have been left out, each of which is indicated by a number. Find the suitable word from the given options, from the options given against each number and fill up the blanks with appropriate words to make the paragraph meaningfully complete. The art of wood craving is a very old craft in India. Since time immemorial, man has started dash his home by using wood. So, what should it be? Renovating? No, renovating will not be. It will be decorating. Okay, beautifying will not be. Your correct answer will be option number B, that is decorating. Okay? So we have had started decorating his home by using wood or carving mattocks. They used to make dolls and toys for the children. Wood craft in India is a common heritage and is dashed to uh, and is dashed to exist across all parts of the country. Ab dekhi kya hoga? And is established, found, inserted in established found is found to right is found to hoga right is uh, found to exist across all parts of the country okay next the traditional craftsmen used wood stone art and color for painting and raw materials <coughs> they dash carved doors to door frames and uh, what so they let us see the options they beautifully remarkably splendidly and uh, skillfully effectively uh, they, they dash curved doors door frames and brackets in palaces and temples so what should be beautifully do nahi hoga remarkably bhi nahi hoga splendidly would be too much right skillfully okay so your correct answer hoga wo hoga this skillfully carved doors door frames and brackets in palaces and temples images of gods idols and deities were also made of wood sacred wood were used in such creations the wood cavers uh, the wood carvers had to retain strict dash throughout the period they were occupied in the work had to retain uh, difficulty difficulty tenacity accuracy 
एक्यूरेसी एंड ऑस्टेरिटी ऑफ फ्रुगैलिटी तो इसमें से कौन सा ऑप्शन होगा आपका ऑस्टेरिटी ओके ऑस्टेरिटी थ्रू आउट द पीरियड दे वेर ऑक्यूपाइड इन द वर्क दे वेर नो रेस्ट्रिक्शन इन द यूजेस ऑफ कलर एंड वर्निश वी कैन सी कार्ट वुड एंड सिम्बल्स इन द रूरल एरियाज विच रिमाइंड अस ऑफ ट्राइबल डैश ट्राइबल पेडिग्री कल्चर लीगेसी कस्टम एंड हेरिटेज वी डू नॉट से कल्चर बट वी से हेरिटेज ओके ट्राइबल हेरिटेज तो यहाँ पे करेक्ट फॉर्मेशन होगा हेरिटेज तो वी हैव नेक्स्ट वुड क्राफ्ट इज स्टिल बींग यूज आई होप आपने इस सारे नोट डाउन कर लिया होगा फर्स्ट वन वॉज बी देन वॉज बी देन वी हैड स्किलफुली देन वी हैड ऑस्टोरिटी ओके देन वी हैड हेरिटेज ओके नेक्स्ट है आपके वुड क्राफ्ट स्टिल बींग यूज फॉर कार्विंग ट्रॉइस एंड डॉल्स आर द मॉडर्न वुड कार्विंग है टच ए न्यू हाइट ऑफ स्कल्पर स्कल्परेस्कफेक्शन एट मेनटेन ट्रेडिशनल एट मेनटेन टू ट्रेडिशनल लोकल डैश एट द सेम टाइम एंड मेनटेन सॉरी यहाँ पे एंड होना चाहिए एंड मेनटेन ट्रेडिशनल लोकल डैश क्या होना चाहिए आपका ऑप्शन जेस्ट फ्लेवर स्क्ट फ्रेग्रेंस एंड फिल्ड तो क्या होना चाहिए एंड मेनटेन ट्रेडिशनल लोकल फ्लेवर ओके लोकल फ्लेवर नेक्स्ट वी हैव द रिलीजियस प्रोडक्ट इन इंक्लूड्स इमेजेस ऑफ गॉड्स एंड लेजेंडरी फिगर्स लाइक दुर्गा गणेशा एक्सेट्रा सम ट्रॉप्समैन कर्व ए सिंगल पीस ऑफ वुड टू फॉर्म एन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस एटम्स आर मेड फॉर आर्टिस्टिक क्या होना चाहिए लेट सी आर्टिस्टिक प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं एफर्मेशन नहीं एलास्ट्रेशन डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन होना चाहिए राइट डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करते तो डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन होना चाहिए राइट नेक्स्ट सम डिस्टिंग फॉर्म्स एंड सेप्स ऑफ आइटम्स ऑफ वुड क्राफ्ट हैव कम डाउन फ्रॉम रिमोट फर्स्ट एंड सम डैश फॉर्म्स हैव बीन इवॉल्व तो सम डैश फॉर्म क्या होना चाहिए एक्सपेरिमेंटल इनोवेटिव इनोवेटिव ही होना चाहिए क्योंकि इनोवेटिव फॉर्म्स ही आप इवॉल्व करते हो राइट तो ये आपका होगा इनोवेटिव ओके इनोवेटिव फॉर्म्स हैव बीन इवॉल्व maintaining the custom and simplicity next in the past this wood crafts items such as toys dolls idols etc were meant for local market there's a great demand for its wooden products as decorative items they mostly carry decorative uh, decorative value in modern society some wood artisans make wooden marks dash customary religious sentiments to kya hona chahiye dekhiye uh, exhibiting nahi illustrating indicating A customary uh, depicting, depicting would better suit. Okay. Uh, next we have the tools used for wood craft are mainly the carpenter's tools, carving chisels at the end of wood. The woods that they use are soft and are is easily available. There are thousands of wood craftsmen making pieces of wood carved items of dash beauty. Kya hona chahiye? Wonderful beauty, nahi decorative beauty, nahi exceptional. Yeah, definitely. आपके क्या होगा? Exceptional beauty. Clear? सो आई होप आपको समझ में आ गया होगा अगर कहीं पे कुछ uh, कुछ भी डाउट है आपका दैन यू कैन लीव अ कमेंट और ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट टू अस सो थैंक यू पीपल विल सुन ब्रिंग यू द सोल्यूशन फॉर फॉर डिफरेंट पीपल सो स्टे कनेक्टेड